Welcome to this video, on the new features of AB Suite 7.0. This video provides an overview of the features introduced in Release 7.0, for users upgrading from previous versions of AB Suite. AB Suite 7.0 Development Environment Requires, Visual Studio 2017, Microsoft SQL Server 2017, Microsoft Visual Studio Team Foundation Server 2018, and Microsoft .NET Framework 4.7.2. AB Suite 7.0 makes use of some of the new and enhanced features of Visual Studio 2017 to make application development faster and smarter. IntelliSense, that describes APIs as you type and uses auto-completion, to increase speed and accuracy. Peak definition allows you, to view and edit code, in a new pop-up window, while remaining in the previous code window. Go to definition allows you, to move to the location, where the code is defined. Structure visualizer helps you to know, where you are, in your code's block structure. The vertical lines and dotted lines indicate the blocks of code. And light bulb icons help you to identify and fix common coding issues as you type your code and take quick code actions from right inside the editor. AB Suite 7.0 supports Clear Path MCP levels 17 and 18. The runtime environment for Clear Path MCP supports the Enterprise Database Server, and other MCP components, Enterprise Transactions Server, COBOL 85, DM Algol, Binder, and New P. Let us now look at the features of ClearPath MCP Operating System. It handles some of the world's most demanding business workloads, delivering business-critical, high-volume transaction processing for enterprise-wide core business applications, with proven business-critical attribute of scalability, high reliability, high capacity, high availability, resiliency, highly integrated software, data integrity, unmatched security, manageability, and serviceability. The AB Suite 7.0 runtime environment for Windows requires SQL Server 2017, and .NET Framework 4.7.2. The advanced mode for application development, is designed for users planning to upgrade from previous versions of AB Suite. The advanced mode supports, all the object-oriented concepts of AB Suite. The advanced mode also supports, the XML message processing capability for Windows runtime systems. For 7.0 release of AB Suite, significant improvements have been made to the model. Primitive types are now defined with a new object. Template property replaces the inherits property, as the way attributes derive their type. Sequence property is no longer automatically maintained and a new model rule detects duplicates and gaps. Extract files are defined using the new file stereotype, replacing inheriting from GLB file. Attribute value checking logic is available, only on iSpec attributes in the presentation. The export as feature, provides an ability, to export an application in release 7.0 as a public model file that is import compatible with release 6.1. From the AB Suite 7.0 environment, you can generate the public model file of an application, and then import this public model file to the AB Suite 6.1 environment, by using the model importer. This feature allows you, to have the development environment and test environment on 7.0, while having the production environment on 6.1. AB Suite 7.0 allows you to store large objects, such as, clear path MCP files, audio files, and image files, residing on the clear path MCP host, 
as binary large objects in the Enterprise Database Server. For AB Suite 7.0 applications deployed on clear path MCP environment, enhanced data encryption has been introduced for the runtime application data, stored in the Enterprise Database Server. AB Suite also offers you the Component Enabler, that provides standard component interfaces to AB Suite applications so that the applications can be accessed via client technologies, such as VB.NET Wind Forms, and ASP.NET Web Forms. The Rattle protocol is used to communicate, between the component enabler, and a deployed AB Suite system. For release 7.0, this communication is encrypted via the Transport Layer Security Protocol, which is a cryptographic protocol, used to increase security over computer networks. In the previous versions of AB Suite, a report used to open in another Visual Studio session. In AB Suite 7.0, enhancements have been made in the debugger. Now if you debug a report, the process is faster, and the report opens in the same Visual Studio session. Also, the Auto Configure feature has been introduced, where the minimum configuration properties are populated with default values when you initiate a debug session. However, you can also modify these default configuration properties in the Model Configuration Properties dialog box. In AB Suite 7.0, to build an application from the command line, you can use the Microsoft Build Engine. MS Build, that has two options of building an AB Suite application, by using the command line arguments, or by reading the settings from a customized MS Build settings XML file. The syntax of MS Build command line, includes several command line arguments or switches, to specify the various features of the building process. MS Build also allows you to build applications, on the Team Foundation server. This was a brief overview of AB Suite 7.0, for users planning to upgrade from previous versions. Thank you for watching this video. Visit www.unisys.com to know more about the functionalities and capabilities of AB Suite.